What's going on everybody? In this video, I'm going to cover the top features Bricks Builder has to offer and why I think you should consider this builder on your next WordPress project. As of this recording, to use Bricks on a single site, you'll need to make a one-time payment of $99. And for those who plan to use Bricks on more than one website, you'll need to make a one-time investment of $249 for an unlimited amount of sites. If you've used any of the alternative page builders out there, you know that their pricing structure is based around a subscription, either monthly or annually. So this is a pretty big difference right off the bat. So now that we've gotten pricing out of the way, let's dive into the actual different features that Bricks has to offer and why I love using it so much. To start, Bricks is a theme. This means that you technically can finish an entire project without adding any additional plugins. The builder itself runs on Vue, which is one of the fastest JavaScript frameworks that exist today. This approach allows the builder to be super snappy and fast and gives a really great experience while building websites. Something else that Bricks has baked right in is performance improvements. With alternatives that exist today, you would typically have to install an additional plugin in order to get your actual project to be optimized in the best way possible. With Bricks, you don't necessarily have to do that. Everything is built right into the theme so that you don't have to do any additional installations. What you do need to do is just toggle a few check marks according to the project that you're building, that way it's tailored to whatever it is that you're working on. Something that's become pretty standard in page builders today is the ability to connect to third-party services without actually having to install additional plugins. You do this by pasting in an API key from whatever third-party service you want to connect to and you don't have to do anything else after that. The Bricks Builder will allow you to natively start using Using those features within its builder without having to have any additional plugins or settings. Now something that's really cool about Bricks is they took this same exact approach of connecting to third-party services through an API key and allowing to utilize everything natively within the builder and they implemented the same concept for templates and this is pretty cool. Essentially what this allows you to do is is to tap into different third-party services that offer templates for bricks without having to blow up your project. A fair argument to make is that other page builders out there can get the same job done that Bricks can. But the reality is that they don't always implement best practices when it comes to web development, SEO, and accessibility, and so forth. If you're interested in learning more about this topic, check out this video where I do a comparison with one of the biggest page builders, if not the biggest, Elementor, and I do a deep dive into the performance and compare the output of the code between the two. Something else that Bricks has that most other builders builders have as well is the ability to work with templates. Now, the cool thing with Bricks specifically is that it has a few more bells and whistles that allow these templates to be really, really powerful. The first feature that I think makes working with templates and in general with Bricks just an exceptional experience is the query loop. Now, the query loop is a functionality that you can implement anywhere in the builder or specifically in the dynamic templates that you're working on and it allows you to run through data points that you're working with. Now, data points can be anything like a blog post or a bunch of blog posts, or it can be anything that's customly put together through, say, custom fields or something like that. That way, you can run through a bunch of data and add logic to it so you're only rendering specific items to specific users at that time. So when you combine this type of query loop functionality with the templates, it can really get interesting with what you're doing. And the second feature that I think makes Bricks just absolutely incredible is the conditional logic. Now, if you take these three features together, you can get to a point where a single dynamic template that you put together is essentially the backbone of a bunch of different pages that are running. A simple example of some of this stuff is what we did on our agency site for the organic search pages that we have. There is a drop down menu that comes out and you're able to choose one of six pages. But in reality, there's only one template that's rendering those six different pages. This is pretty cool. And if you add on to this logic, it can get really, really interesting. And lastly, since we're already on our agency site and looking at some of the functionality that exists here, we might as well mention that Bricks also has a mega menu. They recently launched this and it's advancing pretty quickly and you can already see it fully working here on our website. So you're probably noticing the theme here. With other page builders, you add plugins and extra bloat, where in this case, it's built right in. So the mega menu is fully functional and part of the builder that you're working on, which as far as I'm concerned, is a win for everybody. Less plugins, less bloat, 
more efficient and easier to work with. So that covers the basics of what Bricks can offer. If you have any questions about the builder itself, then please drop them below and I'll do my best to answer them. If you'd like to support the channel, then the best way to do so is to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe. And lastly, if you are still debating about Bricks, what I'm going to do is to link to two more videos. The one that I mentioned earlier, which is Bricks versus Elementor. Elementor is one of the biggest builders that exists today. And I think it's a great comparison to just see what's happening under the hood when you're comparing these builders and what you get in return when it comes to the code. And the second video that I'm gonna link to is gonna be about automatic CSS and frames, which is a utility framework with a library that complements it and a really efficient way to start to optimize your development process. So that way you're putting out projects a lot quicker and faster, yet still maintaining them accessible and professional. So that's it and I'll see you all at the next one.